Hi everyone. So today I thought I would finally do my handbag collection. This video has been highly requested. <laughs> if any of you know me, you will know that I am a handbag enthusiast, to say the least. <laughs> Basically I love my handbags and I didn't make this video to brag about what I have and how much money I've spent on bags. Like I said before, it's highly requested. People wanted to see the bags that I have and I work really hard at saving for my bags, which is why I have designer bags. Um, if I didn't save for them, I wouldn't have them. So I buy myself a really good handbag that I know is gonna last and that is gonna be a staple in my wardrobe for a good long time because nobody wants to be spending ridiculous amounts of money on a handbag and then for it to basically just go out of fashion and nobody wants it again, basically. So I have my handbags and my purses here and I'm just gonna take you through one by one and show you what I have and maybe it'll encourage you to save up, get yourself a nice handbag that will, I think it makes an outfit. Because whenever people see you, they're like, oh, she's got a lovely handbag. That's really nice bag. So yeah, I'm just gonna get started because I have a lot to get through. <laughs> so I'll start with, start with like my cheaper bags and then work my way up. So before I started getting into handbags and things like that, I owned a lot of fossil bags and purses most of which I have now resold or given to my mum but I have kept one of them because I absolutely love this one and this one came to America with me on our, whenever we went on honeymoon last year because it's just the perfect size and the purse to match it as well and this one was very hard to find so this is the fossil bag that I own so it's it's really hard to describe what material this is it's almost like it's not straw but it has that appearance and then it's got these paint and blue spots and then like a reddy pink piping the whole way around it so it is an over the body bag and it's just got this brown brown strap it's got a pocket at the back that you can keep close to yourself and then inside it looks like this so it's got one zip pocket on this side and then two sort of normal pockets on this side. So this bag came to America with me and it was perfect size for everything I needed to carry around with me whenever I was there. So I've kept this one because I just love this one. Um, so that is one of my cheaper bags because Fossil is relatively cheap. No, it's not cheap but it's, it's cheaper than, than your bigger brands. And then I also have the, the purse to match it. So it's a little tiny purse. You will find that I do have, I tend to go for smaller purses just because I don't like bigger purses, although I do have, I do have some big purses. So this is the purse to match. And that's it there. So it's got your zip at the back, which is quite hard to get into actually. I don't think, don't really use that zip. And then inside it looks like this here so we've got a pocket here um, slots for three cards another pouch another pouch <laughs> another pouch three more slots for cards on the other side and that is it so that is the purse match the bag this purse holds so much for, for being so tiny like as you can see there's so many pouches and it can hold six cards. So if you are going away, get yourself a good bag that's over the body and a, a nice purse that it doesn't have to match it, but it bonus if it does, that you, a nice small one that you can travel with. So look into Fossil if you're definitely looking for um, a good bag. You don't wanna to spend too much, but you're willing to spend a little bit. So that is my Fossil bag. I can't leave the link for this below because they discontinued this. Um, it was like a limited edition thing. So 
sorry, but <laughs> this is sort of like the style that Fossil go for. So there's that. Then I have a few things from, I'll do my clutches actually. I have a few, a few clutches. I have my Jenny Packham one, like this here. So this is the clutch that I got for our wedding day. Because obviously I couldn't be without a bag on my wedding day. <laughs> just It just wasn't going to happen. So obviously it's really difficult to know what you want to carry around with you, not carry around with you. So. I picked this up because it was the perfect size and it was absolutely gorgeous and it tied in with my first wedding dress and my second wedding dress so I had two wedding dresses the day I got married so I changed in the evening into um, sort of a lighter gown with basically bedding and just a nice beautiful evening gown um, which matched this perfectly so this bag looks like this on the inside so it does have a little strap but I just keep that inside so that it is more of a clutch bag and in here I kept the day of the wedding I had my lipstick that I had on I had my phone I had a few spare hair clips and just anything anything else that I, I might have needed those are the things that I can definitely remember I had um, oh I have my credit card so I could charge things to the room just in case so Jenny Packham do lovely, lovely um, clutches. So I got this in Debenham. So this is the Jenny Packham for Debenham's range. So the number one Jenny Packham, that's how you know. So this is her slightly more affordable range. So I think I might be able to link this. I think they might still have this on the website. So if I can, I will link this below. So anyone who's getting married who would like a bag to carry or have just with their personal bits on them, the day of the wedding, think about a Jenny Packham one. She has some gorgeous ones in. So I've that one. Then I have three Kate Spade ones. So they're all they're all the same same bag. I'll just just in different colours. So I keep most of the things that I can in the boxes. So this is a Kate Spade box. So it's just cream on one side with her gold lettering. And then the black and cream stripes on the other. So that is what my clutches stay in. So I will th show you the three clutches that I have. They're literally all the same clutch. <laughs> so I have three. I have pink one in rose gold, black one, and gold one. So I'll show you the gold one just because they're all the same. So I picked these up on the sale last year. So definitely keep a look out on Kate Spade website for their sale. Um, these came down to half price, which was fantastic. So basically I got two, this one and this one for the price that one of them would be. So still have the stuff inside because I haven't used them yet. <laughs> um, basically just a nice little clutch on the inside. Um, it's got her nice little spade in gold on the inside so you can't fit much on these I will say that like they're not they're not the biggest clutch in the world but they are very pretty like how could you say no to sparkling gold and sparkling pink rose gold so you get your phone and um your cards and possibly lip gloss or lipstick in there so have a look at Kate Spade if you're looking for a slightly more affordable um, purse or bag. So, moving on, um, I have. I'm slightly. I'm working my way up in the in the price ranges here. Don't think there's anything in here. So next, I have my Michael Kors Jet Set bag in pink with gold lettering. So I picked this up in New York whenever I was away on honeymoon. So whenever I went over there, I knew that I was going to pick up a bag that was just. That was just what was going to happen. So over here, this bag is worth, I think it's £230 in and around that because this is a small one. In America, um, there is a department store called Century 21 
and in there they have things all designer but basically you can pick things up for like mega mega cheap anything that's maybe old stock it's being discontinued because of the colour anything like that so this bag was being discontinued because they've brought in the pink now with the silver hardware whereas this is gold so this was a hundred and I don't remember exactly but it was a hundred and thirty dollars or something like something around that so basically half the price in dollars as it is in sterling and then whenever you convert that from the dollars to sterling that I paid I paid less than a hundred pounds for this bag so can't be bad to that so this is what it looks like inside so it's got a big pouch here um big pouch here and then it clips onto the other side here if you want to keep your bag closed it's got um a keychain thing that you can keep your keys attached to and then it's got another another pouch on the other side so this is basically my everyday bag that I take to work with me because it just holds everything I need it to do so similar price range to anything like Kate Spade um, so this is their standard sort of jet set bag in small so I love this bag and it basically goes everywhere with me next I have sort of do coach next so I bought this bag a few years ago um, so I can't remember the name of it or what the name it's by the brand coach but I've no idea what the name of the actual bag is oh this way around <laughs> so this is traditional coach um, fabric and it's got long straps and it is huge <laughs> so inside it looks like this so you've got a big pouch here with a zipped, zipped pocket here you've got another zipped pocket in the middle that runs the whole way through the bag and then on this side another big massive pouch with two two sort of open pockets here so I love this bag it is a lot bigger it's basically like a Mary Poppins bag <laughs> it just it holds everything and then I picked up the purse to match it although still haven't used it because the tag's still on it sort of like a travel purse almost so inside you have the section for your your cards and then this bit here comes out and it is basically like you can keep your checkbook and things like that in this and um, but it just slides into your purse or you can keep travel documents or anything in it and then there's a section for a pen should you need it then on the other side there is take these bits out actually there is more slots for cards little photo section there places to put your paper notes and then at the back there is the zip pouch for all your coins and things like that so this purse um, it's huge but it's sort of like multifunctional pieces next I have oh sorry I also have a little coach wristlet so it's tiny it's got pink pink it's got pink lining inside and it just closes over like this and it's great if you just need a little a little pouch or anything to carry things in perfect size then I've got my mulberry stuff <laughs> um, I've just remembered that one of my purses isn't here but it was in my what's in my bag video that I did a few few weeks ago so you can link back to see that so I have a long um, mulberry purse in the traditional sort of mulberry lock bag or lock opening so this is their brown leather although it looks black it is brown so in here there has a section the back for any notes section for your cards um, just a random space a zipped pouch here more space in here so this purse holds so much I personally don't like long purses because it doesn't 
nicely hold my cards. So obviously I have more than six cards so whenever you put them in one of the other pouches they just sort of flap about and it just it doesn't sit very nice. But I do have this um, and I did use it for a long time. So they do still keep this um, in stock. They are expensive but Mulberry do excellent sales. Like excellent sales. <laughs> And that is probably the only reason why I have my mulberries is because their items come into the sale. So, love mulberry. So they're um, real leather, as you can tell, there's a few of them. So love that. I then have my other pink purse that I forgot to bring into this video. Then I have um, my, my Mulberry Del Rey in small. So this is in the black colour. Um, is this soft green? I can't remember. Mulberry have different types of leathers and I think this is soft green with gold hardware. So they've discontinued this style of bag. So basically the only time you can get this bag now is if you pick it up second hand. So traditional Mulberry lock. Pick up this bit and there is a little a little pouch in there hiding. Then we have inside where there is a zipped pouch here, the little mulberry logo in there and then another pouch on this side. So this bag it is small but it, is, it carries a lot inside and it's got the perfect over the body strap although you can take this off and just have it um, just carry it with the two handles so this is great for like a night out anywhere if you want to carry a bag but you don't want to carry something too big this is the perfect size of bag and it's black so it basically goes with everything so I have that bag the next bag is also Mulberry and it is my Mulberry Small Alice in blush pink rose petal rose petal rose petal they did have a blush range but this isn't rose petal so this is the one that I had a few weeks ago that I was doing my what's in my bag video so I've recently changed to my Michael Kors bag now but yeah I love this bag um so soft and again this has gold hardware on it I have a thing for gold hardware rather than silver hardware as you will pretty much find out <laughs> so I'll not go into too much detail on this one because I did a review on it not that long ago. So it's material in the inside now. Most of Mulberry's, um, they're either suede or material now on the inside. And I actually quite like the material. Suede can just get um, dirty really quickly. So this bag has, it's not an over the body strap, it's almost like a shoulder strap, which you can take off. Um, and then it's got the two tag. Then it's got the two sort of handle straps that you can either have like this or just carry it, um, carry it in your hands like this. So I have the purse for this. Um, it's a small purse, but I'm not, <laughs> I'm not allowed it because it's my Christmas present <laughs> for this year. Um, but they have. So I got that. Um, I got the purse in the sale. Um, from my mum so but I'm not allowed it until Christmas this year so they have discontinued this colour so this is the rose petal colour um, so you can't pick this up anymore on the Mulberry website but they still have this style of bag so this is the small Alice looks like this um, but I thought this is just perfect for summer um, it's nice baby pink nudie coloured bag so I'll be looking forward to getting my purse for Christmas and um, so I can I can start using it with this bag. The other mulberry that I have, this is my final piece of mulberry that I have, um, is my most recent purchase. So this is the Mulberry Delphi. So this is one of their new styles. Okay, the reason I love this bag is it's basically four bags in one. And I'll explain why. So it has a long strap, as you can see here, and it is 
oxblood. But whenever you open it, so it's a little popper, it's buttercream on the inside. And it has, oh, I've got a random hair bubble in there and cinema tickets. And it is their oxblood suede on the inside. So the reason I said this is four bags in one is you can detach the back of the bag, flip it round, and you basically have the same bag but in buttercream. So that's two different ways. So you've the oxblood long strap and the buttercream long strap. And then I'll change it back to the oxblood because I prefer it in the oxblood colour. Then you can change the size of the strap. So this little bit here, um, you just pull the strap through and attach it to the other side of the bag. So just poke it through like this and it becomes short. So you can have it like this. So that's basically four ways you can wear this bag. So I think it's perfect and it's gonna be good come because of the colour of it, it's oxblood, so it's a really really dark red, almost brown, almost like a brownie purple, purpley colour. Um, so this is gonna be a firm favourite in autumn winter this year. So they still have this style of bag, I'm not sure if they have this colour combination anymore, so this is the oxblood and buttercream. So I'm actually looking to get um, like a little pouch for, for this bag. Because even though it is a small bag, whenever you, or it is a fairly big bag, whenever you put a purse on it, it takes up quite a lot of room. So I'll be looking for something like a card wallet or anything like that just to keep inside it. So all my bags I keep in their dust bags because I've paid a lot of money for them and I want to keep them good. So that's my rubber bag. And finally, I have my Louis Vuitton. So this is the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. I've got it all, I don't know what's going on with it, it's all like pushed in at the sides and stuff. But this is the the Neverfull in the biggest size, I think, is it GM? I don't know, I can't remember. So this is the Louis Vuitton in Neverfull and it is huge. This is basically what I take if I'm going away for the weekend and you get a little pouch attached to it too although I've taken it off for some reason. But this is basically my my weekend bag. Anything like just because it's it's so big. I almost regret getting the biggest one. I didn't realise it was so big. <laughs> um maybe the middle size one or the smaller one would have been better for me. But this is huge like it's all pushed on the side but that basically comes out um either side. I don't know. It's sitting really funny at the minute. But that is everything, isn't it? Leave it on. I think that is everything that I can show you. So I hope you liked the video. Make sure and give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Bye!